Able Dental's seventh annual Kanji Buyback is happening this year. Connie joins us and Captain America here to tell us all about the event. Let's start with you, Connie. What is the Kanji Buyback for someone who doesn't know? So this is the seventh year that we've done this. And uh, so what the kids on Saturday, November the 1st, from 9 till 5 o'clock, you can come down to our office uh, at Able Dental Family Dentistry and we will buy their leftover Halloween candy or the candy that they don't like. You know, you can kind of sort it out and just bring in those caramels and the things that we don't like. And uh, we'll buy it back from the kids for a dollar a pound. And then uh, they get to put their name in for a movie meal party for their entire class for bringing the candy in. Uh, we'll give them an ice cream treat when they come, compliments of crazy cakes. Mm -hmm. And then we send the candy to the Canadian troops that are overseas. That's amazing. And as you mentioned, seven years, where did this idea come about? It's a really unique idea and a great way, I think, to get rid of that candy instead of chucking it in the trash or having it sit there for a whole year. So uh, seven years ago, I was at a dental course and uh, the dentist was speaking about how some of the community things that he had done and he did this in his community. So I was so excited to come back and, and do it here in Lethbridge for our area. Captain America, why do you think this is a great idea? Why will you be donating some of your candy on the first? Just to get money. I think that's fair. That's a good trade-off to me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if anyone, again, one of those times, Connie, and uh, you mentioned too, we know it's going to a good place. Uh, where, where can people expect to see these go? That Some stays in the country, some goes out of the country? Yes, actually with support of the UPS store uh, on the north side there by Save on Foods, uh, she's been helping us right from the beginning. She comes and picks up all the candy, and uh, a couple years ago, I think the most candy we collected was... 800 pounds so she so graciously comes and picks up these boxes and boxes of candy and she ships it out to the military base here at the airport here in Lethbridge and uh, we do have our office in Crow's Nest Pass that does it as well so in Blairmore you can go to Blairmore and they're open during the day uh, on the Monday they're doing theirs on November the 3rd during work hours which is from 8 to 4 and then in McGrath uh, they're also doing it as well, and they're doing it on the Monday, November the 3rd, during work hours. So they're, I believe, they're from 8.30 to 4.30. So they're there, so you can take your candy there. So we bring it all to headquarters here, and then uh, uh, the UPS store, Cheryl, ships it out to the military base at the airport. That's amazing. So you don't have to just bring it all into Lethbridge. There's lots of other options to uh, drop off your candy for the candy buyback. Thank you so much, Connie. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Anything else you want to add, Captain America? Brush your teeth. Great advice. We'll have more on Ghost of the Alberta right after this.